Hey, what's up YouTube? So today we are going to learn how to save objects within the Realm database. If you haven't installed the Realm database, uh, if you haven't installed the Realm framework, check that out up here. And if you have, then let's get started. So we are going to start by creating a new Swift file and this is where we're going to store all of the realm objects we are going to call this file all realm objects simple enough and we are going to import realm Swift, and then we're going to create a class and I'm going to create a, a human class um, of type object which is a realm module and then so what properties does a human have um, they have a oh yeah we have to dynamically uh, initialize every variable that we have um, so they have a name oh, name and I'm just gonna do this uh, they have an age and they have a race why not? Uh, we're going to make this a number. All right. And once we're done with that, we're going to go to the view controller and we are going to create a function. And this function is called add human. Oh, forgot. And in here, we are just going. We're going to save the uh, the object. So we're going to say let Mike equal human, the object that we just created, and then we're going to say Mike dot name equals Mike Mike dot age equals let's say 13 Mike dot race and let's say he is Indian and we're done with that and then we're going to say let realm equal try realm I know this is kind of weird. And then we're going to say realm. Oh, we got an issue. Oh, we never imported realm into this file here. So go ahead and type this up at the top. And the issue is gone. And we're going to say realm dot right and we're going to say realm dot add object Mike Mike which is the object that we just created up there oh we have to say try realm dot right and yeah that's it and to know that we saved the object into the realm database we're just going to do a simple print line statement um added and then we're going to say mike dot name 
to realm. And then we are going to take this object or function and then we are going to put it in the view did load. Alright, and I'm just going to run it and that should be it. Alright, sweet. <coughs> so now we're going to come back here and then change the name Mike to Alex to see if it still works. And it works. So today we learned how to save objects to the Rome database. Next week we are going to start querying the objects so that we can display them, manipulate them, and do all sorts of cool stuff like that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Uh, check out some of my other videos if you haven't. Um, yeah, and stay chappy.